hey, do you need to convert a string to an int in Java? You're in the right place. So let's get to it. So you're programming in Java and you've got a string that contains a number, but you need to be able to convert it to an int so you can do math with it. How do you do it? We're going to look at a super fast, super easy way to convert your string to an int. So let's say you've got something like string, string int equals five in quotes. So maybe you got that from user input or you parsed it from some other string or something like that. Maybe you're trying to use that string int to like do some math and print something out at the same time, kind of like system.out.println, um, let's see, string int plus six. So um, you might expect that to print out 11, right? Five plus six is 11. But if you go ahead and do it, you see you get 56. And what's happening here? Six isn't getting added to the five. It's getting converted to a string automatically and appended to the end of the string int. So it's just getting five and plus six added to the end of it. Of course, that's just not what you were going for. Or just maybe you're trying to do some math with that string and store the result in some other int. So for example, you're trying to do something like int total equals uh, string int plus six. And you can see, ah, type mismatch, can't convert from string to int. Unfortunately, it can't do this for you automatically. So what you're going to want to do is use a method on the integer class called parse int and pass in the string that contains the int in it. So you use integer.parseInt. So now we can see what if we take this same statement and instead use integer.parseInt here. Pass in our string int. And let's go ahead and run that. And boom, we get 11, exactly what we were going for. And that's because we converted this string to an int before doing our math with it, and then it printed out the resulting value. So to summarize, it's super easy. If you have a string that contains an int, all you need to do to turn it into an int is use integer.parseInt. So you can even directly convert that value into an int and store it in a variable. So like int my int equals integer.parseInt string int. So you're passing in your string to this integer.parseInt method, storing the result in my int. And then you can take this my int and do whatever kind of math you want with it. Add, subtract, multiply, divide, mod, whatever, anything you want. Now, something you do want to watch out for, what if what you have in the string int isn't a proper number? Say if you have something like five uh, garbage, and if you run that and try to parse an int from that string, you get a number format exception. And that's because Java can't take this string and convert it to a number for you. It's just not going to work. There's nothing it can do about that. So maybe you're getting this value from user input or something and the user enters something that isn't a number. So if you need detailed examples about how to catch these sorts of exceptions when the user enters something that they aren't meant to, go ahead and check out this video here of me creating a full GPA calculator. So that's it. It's that simple to convert a string to an int in Java. Just integer.parseInt. So if you learned something or got some value from this video, please give it a like. It is super helpful and so appreciated. And go ahead and subscribe too if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. So that's it. Short and sweet. See you next time.